Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem thirty-one in chapter nineteen. Chapter nineteen is about heat, the first law of thermodynamics. So we have this VT graph tell us how the P and V changes for this ideal gas, right? So for first, it just moves from the A to point B to point C. Now, first the question asks you to find the total work done by the gas in the process. So from A to B to C, we can find the work done by A, B, then work done by B, C. Agree? So now we look at the work done by A, B. As we know, the work done by the ideal gas is P times delta V, P times delta V. And from A to B, the volume is constant. So that makes the delta V equal to zero. So WAB equal to zero. From A to B, no work is done, right? Now we look at the B times C, B to C. So work done by BC is a power P times delta V. So we use the, find the P as 1.4 atm. We need to convert the unit to Pascal. And also the volume change is 9.3 liter minus 5.9 liter and then we can convert the unit to meter Q. Then we do this calculation, get the final answer at zero. Now the total work done in this process A, B, C just equal to work done by A, B plus work done by B, C and then A, B is zero. B, C is zero. We get the final answer zero. Now tell you to find the change in internal energy of gas in the process. Now we can find the internal energy change in this function, agree, 3 over 2 n r delta t. n, does any new gases come in or come out? No, the gas not come in or can't come out. So it's fixed, so n is a constant. And then we look at the delta t. Does the temperature changes? No, because it tell us the temperature reaches its initial value, right? So it tell us from A to C the temperature is the same. So delta T, the temperature change is zero. That makes the change in internal energy zero. So we can write it here. The next part asks you the total heat flow into or out of the gas. So we can see, we can write the in change in internal energy. This one equal to Q minus W. And in this case, we can see delta E uh, internal equal to zero. W is there. Can you find Q? Yes, Q just equal to W. 480 joules, right? It's just there. Thank you.